Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me, talking to the sun here. Um, here we have the Fiat 500e, awesome car. I drove 60 kilometers or 50 in it and it's really awesome. It's cute, um, but so many settings, so many things you can do. I activated the app that took a while, but it works. I'm charging now at 45%, 85 kilowatt power. This has a 42 kilowatt hour battery, 37 kilowatt hours usable. WLTP range is 320 kilometers, I think. Um, and I will do the Rakobi test now. So I will drive a 64.7 kilometers, I think, uh, route at 90, 110, 130 GPS speed. Then we see consumption, calculate the range, and I will time the whole trip with charging. So we'll start with 50% and then come here, charge back to 50%. And I want to see what the best speed for this car is for driving. I think it's high with that charging speed. Let's go look. Yeah, what I noticed, I plugged in, by the way, this is to release the cable, the key doesn't work. And I plugged in and it didn't communicate with the charger. I had to do it a few times. So when it's communicating, you had to pull. So it works still 67 kilowatt at 52%. So if it's really uh, uh, almost 80 kilowatt to, to 50%, that would be awesome. So, Cool. Show you the car a bit. The trunk, of course, is small. Small. Look at that tiny little trunk. <laughs> but it has everything that you need. And up here, this is how you close it. It's so cool. <laughs> it has keyless entry. That's cool. Of course, your mirror control. This is how you open the door. Uh, a few light controls. Here's light control. Here you turn lane assist off. I was looking everywhere and then I pressed this button by mistake. And it shows me, of course, state of charge. It shows me estimated time to 80%, 16 minutes. And to 100% in one hour, nine minutes. I charge too much anyways, by the way. I'm at 55%, so I will drive a bit and get down. Here's your gear selector, parking brake, E-mode, so you can change drive modes. Uh, your volume hit on we have a 12 volt outlet and a USB A, and there's another USB A here. Wireless charging here. All cool. Your climate control. I'm on my way, 91 kilometers an hour is our speed, so we drive GPS speed. Uh, there is no eco mode, <laughs> but so I drive in a normal mode. There's a, a Sherpa mode, but this is extremely slow. I have climate on, but no AC, and I can see it here in the window that the climate is not taking anything. And here you can see the motor, kilowatt, even region. It's really awesome. I, I'm in cruise control and I even have the self steering on. I have to pass this truck in a second. It's driving a tiny bit too slow. I just turned around. Look at the consumption, it's awesome. And there's a downhill. <laughs> so maybe we go to around 125 or something. Cool. Um, I had to pass a few trucks, so I had to accelerate to 100. Yeah, this is how it is. That's normal. Otherwise, everything's cool. Listening to music, sound system is okay. And if you wanna see what you can all see in here, you, this is your home and you can select those two because here the, the the circle is the speed and here the circle is the power then we have trip trip a trip b then we have the assist system then we have tire pressure and next service music navigation any messages that can appear your setup i can't pass right now because there's cars behind me and you trip again i like this
missed it. Even time is there. We arrived with 29%. Will it go up to 85? 83. That's still okay. Voltage is a bit low, but look at that 234 amps in a 42 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, uh, usable energy 37. Ooh, this was a weird drive. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Um, did you see? There was a, a BMW on fire. <laughs> and fire department there, police and everything. Um, and and the, the, the engine bay was burning and I saw the smoke from far away and I thought it's something else and then we get closer and then it was really on fire when we were there but we were just, they're just putting it out there. So he didn't see that. I don't even know if he see it on the GoPro. But oh my god, uh, the drive was okay. I had to pass a few trucks, I would say five or six. Um, and I was passed by two trucks, uh, three trucks. Uh, did I? No, I think it, no, it was only one. One tried but he went back in. Um, um, and uh, I had to slow down where the burning car was, of course, with the fire department and everything. Um, but overall, it was a good drive. 119 watt hours per kilometer, a long time since I've been under 120. That's cool. But 21% to drive 64 kilometers at a CDC kilometer, but spot on 84 kilowatt now. Charge to 50% and do the same thing with 110. But 21%, we'll see what that is in range. Um, I always put up the numbers here and also uh, a comparison to other cars. But, God, the tires look new. What cars are there? Eco Contact, there we have it. 205. Let's look what's under here. <laughs> oh, my. Ooh, it's full, look at that. We get to the battery easily. <laughs> cool. The car drives really nice. Find it very interesting. Uh, uh, the, the steering is amazingly soft uh, and, and, and the, the, the suspension is a bit soft, so you're, you're, you're jumping around and, and it's a bit bumpiness. Ooh, it goes down to. goes down? Why? Maybe the battery is warm. Maybe the cooling can keep up. Huh. Because I had 85 before at 45% or something. Well, then you see how it is. Almost done. This car charges fast. 52 and a half minutes, there we go. Done. And we charged in six minutes, 8.3. 1.5 kilowatt hours. Yeah, that was good charging speed. Only in the, in the end it went under 70. That was cool. Here again is the number, how many kilowatt hours charged, uh, average charging speed, um, average speed with including charging, and what else is there? The cost, if I take Ionity prices 30 cents for kilowatt, per kilowatt hour, Everybody pays different, it's just my example. I pay 30 cents per kilowatt hour, and I do it with every car. So you get all the numbers. Let's go do 110, uh, 110, 10. I'm on my way again, now at 110. Climate is still off, um, there is no eco mode. There is just, there are two other modes. One is normal and one is Sherpa. In Sherpa you cannot go faster than faster than 80 and the power is extremely reduced and in normal you don't have region. That's why I drive in range. with 24% 83 kilowatt good stuff yeah that was not a good run because the car that was on fire oh where am I there at uh, the car that was on fire now there's 
more police and more fire uh, uh, people there and now it's almost a traffic jam so i looked I, I i it took me 40 and a half minutes to get here usually i looked it's 36 minutes at 110 so at four and a half minutes and then i plugged in and i think i swiped the card but didn't recognize the card in in this car with the hyperchargers you have to hold the cable for 15 20 seconds because otherwise communication doesn't work. I had that in the beginning when I came here the first time and I guess I didn't see that the car didn't, uh, uh, wasn't recognized and then I had to do it again. So I think I lost five and a half minutes or at least five. So we'll see in the end because it's charging pretty well. Here's a, of course, again, data for consumption. Consumption was great. Um, consumption range range to 80 percent uh, so 10 to 80 or 5 to 80 percent this is the normal how you would use a car you don't drive from 100 percent to zero you drive usually you charge to 80 percent somewhere go on to five percent so this is the so charges in the middle <laughs> if you want to know and yeah charge to 50 percent almost done like i said i would deduct five to five and a half minutes we'll see and done so i think 45.25 minutes <laughs> and we charged 10.5 kilowatt hours in eight minutes again here are the stats average speed uh, including charging and average charging speed and all of this in comparison to the other cars. It's wait till you can see everything. <laughs> and now we go and do the same thing at 130. But again, I will have that tiny traffic jam there for 100 meters. On the way again now with 131 again this is gps beat 130 still climb it off it's now a bit colder 24 degrees oh my god look at that started at 50 percent as always and we'll turn around soon and we'll see if there's still a tiny bit of a traffic jam at that fire Yeah, I'm an idiot. I arrived here and wanted to charge and didn't find my, my card to charge. So I looked everywhere, it took two and a half minutes. Uh, I checked the time, or two minutes, let's say two minutes. Uh, um, and it, it fell out of my pocket beside the seat. That's annoying. The run was good. I had to slow down a few times. Hello, at 130, that's normal because a truck is passing and again, this, it wasn't a traffic jam this time, but people slowed down to 80, 90 or something. And on this side here, there's the bridge. There's a two kilometers or so, a three at 100 kilometers an hour speed limit. But other than that, it was a good, good run. I didn't even see the, the consumption, everything. Uh, I was just, get, get out and do this. <laughs> and then, where's my card? Where's my card? Freaking out. Again, all the data here, charged to 50%. And then we'll look what we have. Yeah, I think the battery is a bit too warm. 65 kilowatt only. Before I had 85 at that at that state of charge. Is it not cooling? Yeah, it is. Ooh, what the hell is this? No, it's a plant. Is it? I don't know. neat car and you see every fingerprint on that black you see it Ugh. here too yeah the battery is warm now it's, it went down to 20 and then up again to 38 kilowatt again before i had 80. i think the battery is too warm it can handle it 
almost done but again I think this is not the charging speed you usually will get so we deduct two minutes for my waiting so 46 minutes I think it would be faster and come on there we go 46 and a half minutes again here you have the stats with the charging and everything and at the end of the video you get the stats for the whole for, for the whole screen with all the data with all the different cars in detail uh, check that out I will now go home I thought I would do the charging test but I'm scared now that the battery is too warm I don't think I want to do that but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye